everybody! Welcome to another episode of How to Pass the Math FSA, the fourth grade edition. Today's benchmark that we will be working on, or standard that we will be working on, is maths.4.nf.2.4. That's lesson 16, which is multiplying fractions by a whole number. Okay, so fourth grade, we only multiply a fraction by a whole number, okay? And then in fifth grade, you'll multiply two fractions together. Um, before we begin, I'm about to teach you four different problems for the Let Me Teach You segment. Um, you can access these same exact problems in by clicking the link in the description box below. That will take you to the complete guide to how to pass the math FSA, the fourth grade edition. It has this standards the standard plus all of the other standards that you need to work on in order to rock the math FSA. Um, in addition to the ones that I do videos on within that document, there are also um, two, there are also a bunch more practice problems that you don't get to see in the free videos. So um, check them out. If you, if I'm telling you, if you can rock every single question that I have in that complete guide, you are sure to get a level four or a five on the math FSA. So without further ado, let me teach you. All right, Scott fills a container with sugar using a bowl. The bowl holds two thirds cups, I need to get another marker, two thirds of a cup of sugar. Scott uses nine full bowls to fill the container. How many cups of sugar does the container hold? So for this problem, we know that we're gonna end up multiplying a fraction by a whole number, but why? Let's take a deeper, a further look at this. So Scott fills a container with sugar. I'm so imagining this is the container and he uses a bowl. That's a terrible bowl, but you get the picture. The bowl holds two thirds of a cup of sugar and he fills it nine times. He uses nine full bowls, so he does it nine times. So how many cups of sugar? Can you see now how it's multiplication? So I'm gonna take my fraction and I'm gonna multiply it by nine, okay? And then what I like to do is I like to change the whole number into a fraction, which would just be the whole number over one. Any whole number over one equals itself, because nine divided by one equals one, nine. Equals nine, not five, nine. I'm going crazy today. All right, now you just multiply across. So in addition, let me slow down, because we just got finished with lesson 15, which was addition, ad adding and subtracting fractions. But with multiplication, the denominators do not have to be the same to add them. You multiply both the numerator and the denominator straight across. So, nine, I'm sorry, two times nine equals 18. Three times one equals three. And remember that our division, our fraction bar, means the same thing as division. So this is really saying like 18 divided by three, which is six. So six would be our answer. We would need to fill the bowl. I'm sorry, two thirds, nine times would be six cups of sugar that the container would hold. Notice that all of my work, before I stop, all of my work went on the outside of the problem. The only thing that went inside of my equation editor box was the number six, my solution. This example two says to shade in the bars below to represent five times three fourths. That's five times three fourths. So I am going to shade in three fourths five times. One, two, three out of four. That's once. One, two, three out of four. That's twice. One, two, three out of four. That's three. One, two, three out of four. One, two, three out of four. 
This is a graphic response item display. It doesn't even ask me to find the answer or the solution. It just asks me to shade it in here. So only do what the problem is requiring or asking of you to do. Okay. We have a multiple choice item here. It says, which of the following is equivalent to three times one half? Okay. Well, I'm seeing right here, one half, one half, one half, one half written three times. That's gonna end up being the answer. I'm gonna put my question there. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna solve this out and kind of treat this as a student who's not really sure how to tackle this problem. Here's what you could do. So solving out three times one half. Again, we will rewrite that putting three over one, which equals three times one half. Multiply our numerators. Three times one is three. One times two is two, so three halves. And now let's see which one equals three halves. So this is three halves times one half. Let's multiply them. That's what it says to do. Three times one equals three. Two times two equals four. Three fourths is not the same as one half. One half plus one half plus one half. I'm adding here. Whenever I add or I subtract, my denominators must be the same. And it is because they all have a two in the denominator. So I can go straight across with my numerators. One, two, three. And then I have one, I have two as my denominator, so there's that, which matches what I did. And it makes sense because it's three times one half. I wrote one half again three times. Okay, does two thirds equal three halves? No, this one would be flopped where the denominator and numerator have swapped places. That's not equal. And then one sixth. No, nope, I think a student might make that mistake because they would do this and they would say one, they would say that six, three times two equals six and then one's on top, but that is not how I taught you how to multiply. Okay, party people, we are on our last example today. I only have four for you today. Um, it's a multi-select item. We know that because it says select all that are equivalent to five times two halves. Before I even look at the answers, I'm going to solve that out. Five times two, I said five times two halves, I meant two fifths. Blah, 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 blah. Can't talk today. So to rewrite that as a fraction, that would be five over one times two fifths. Multiply across. Five times two is 10. One times five is five. And oh, look, this is 10 divided by five, which equals two. All right, so did we get 10 halves? No, we got 10 fifths. Do we have, let me see. Okay, here, do we do two fifths five times? Two fifths, two fifths, two fifths, two fifths, two fifths. Yes, we did. And the same way that it equals two is because you could fit. Let me draw it over here to show you. Okay, so I'm going to take the two from here, shade them in. Take the two from here, one, two, I'm start crossing them out. Two from here, one, two. The two from here, one, two. And the two from here, one, two. So if I add all these two fifths together, I will get two holes, which is what I needed here. So B is a correct answer. All right. We have five, C says five, plus one fifth, plus one fifth would be five plus two fifths, 
which is not the same thing as 5 times 2 fifths, so that is wrong. D says 10 divided by 5, or 10 fifths, which is what I had here, so this is right. E says 2 20 fifths, I don't even know, oh, because somebody, that's just assuming that a student would multiply wrong. Boom. And then do I have five holes? No, I have two holes, so that's wrong. So my correct answers are B and D. B, B, and D, 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 D. Okay, YouTuber Rockstar Math. Got a motivational message for you today, as always. Today, last time we were talking about being grateful, and today we're going to talk about being grateful. Because our world needs to work on being grateful. So... The fancy word for being grateful is to have gratitude, and gratitude is the best attitude. I'm telling you, the kids that I work with who are grateful, oh my gosh, I want to pour so much more into them. They make me want to work hard when they are grateful, okay? And me, I feel like I am grateful for what I have. You know, sometimes we can slip and stuff here, here and there, but truly, it's time to have some gratitude in your life. And how do you do that? You say thank you. Have you even said thank you today and meant it? As a nice, not like, thanks. Ugh, 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 ugh face. How about just thanks, thank you. Sounds so much better. I'm telling you, people just wanna be close to you. People just wanna be your friend. People just wanna do things to help you when you show gratitude. It is an awesome thing. 